Today we are going to learn about pollination. Hi, look at all these beautiful flowers that I've found. Let's look at some more. These flowers are so pretty. Look at how bluey, purpley they are. They're just so beautiful. And these ones are so red and Achoo! Oh, excuse me. These ones are so red and brilliant. Achoo! And look at all the pretty colors. Achoo! It's so Achoo! It's so beautiful. I love these flowers, but all the pollen is making me sneeze and sniffly, so I think we should go back inside. Alright, that's better. Well, flowers, they make pollen, and pollen is a fine powder. It's usually yellow, and it can make you sneeze, just like me earlier. Flowers use pollen to make seeds through a process called pollination. Okay, do you see these yellow feathery parts of the flower? This is the male part of the flower called the stamen, and that is where the pollen is made. Now this middle pink part of the flower is called the pistil, which is the female part of the flower. This is where the pollen needs to go so the flower can make seeds. Looking at this flower, do you think the yellow parts are the stamen or the pistil? That's right, that's the stamen. The stamen is the male part of the flower. That's the part that makes pollen. Now here's a different flower. Do you think this purple part in the middle is the stamen or the pistil? Very good, that's the pistil. The pistil is the female part of the flower where the pollen needs to go so that the flower can make seeds. When pollen is moved from the stamen to the pistil, it is called pollination. There are flowers that have both a stamen and a pistil, but there are some flowers that have only a pistil, and there are other flowers that have only a stamen. Pollen can't move by itself, so how will it get to the pistil? With the help of pollinators. Do you recognize this well-known pollinator? Very good, that's a honeybee. Honeybees are pollinators, and you can see the yellowy-orange pollen on his leg right here. Pollinators are pollen helpers by moving the pollen to the pistil so the flower can make seeds. Let's look at some other pollinators. Do you know what this pollinator is called? That's right, this is a butterfly. And this one is called a painted lady butterfly. Butterflies are pollinators. What kind of animal is this? That's right, that's a bat. This is a flying fox, which is a fruit bat. And fruit bats are pollinators too. What's this little guy called? Great job, this is a hummingbird. It's a ruby-throated hummingbird. And hummingbirds are also pollinators. Other pollinators include wasps and moths. Ants and beetles, like this ladybug, are pollinators too. These other pollinators are very well known. They are bumblebees and honeybees. All right, let's review what we've learned today. What is the fine yellow powder on this bee called? That's right, it's pollen. Pollen is a fine yellow powder. This yellow part of the flower makes pollen. Do you remember what it's called? That's right, that's the stamen. The stamen is the male part of the flower. That's the part that makes pollen. Why do flowers use pollen? Great job! Flowers use pollen to make seeds. 
This purple part of the flower is where the pollen needs to go so the flower can make seeds. Do you remember what it's called? Very good, that's the pistil. The pistil is the female part of the flower where the pollen needs to go so that the flower can make seeds. What is the process called when pollen is moved from the stamen to the pistil? Great job! When pollen is moved from the stamen to the pistil, it is called pollination. What is the name of the pollen helpers who move the pollen so the flower can make seeds? That's right, they're called pollinators. Pollinators are pollen helpers by moving the pollen to the pistil so the flower can make seeds. Now you know how the flowers around you make more flowers. Pollinators help them through a process called pollination so they can make seeds.